early at four o'clock in the morning. It's funny. <laughs> oh, it's God. But the Lord says, you are not alone. No matter where you are today, no matter where you're at, that God is with you. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And the Lord says, praise me through the storms. You need to praise me through the good times, but also through the bad times. Because he says, I am here. And Lord, as we were sitting here, you said the, the spirit of suicide. There's someone here today thinking about suicide or the person watching. Just surrender that to the Lord. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. He says, just can believe. Just praise me. Lift your voice and praise my name. Praise my name. The more you praise me, that's when the chains will break. Father, right now, God, Lord, we, we release that chains of suicide in the name of Jesus. Father, wherever you're at, wherever they're at, God, Lord, we ask that you would just crush that right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that that thought would not come back in, Lord, that you would that you would just cover their ears with, with your words, Lord, and, and whisper your name in their ears today, Lord, and let them know that, that somebody loves them, Jesus. Healing in Jesus' name. Father, we come against that in the name of Jesus. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you would crush that right now. Father, we thank you. We thank you for no breaking the chains of, of suicide, Father God. No authority here. Lord, there is hope. There is hope in you, oh God. There is hope in you, oh God. Ha, come on, 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 Ha, she, on, 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 on. Father, we ask that there may be people in here today that are sad and depressed. Father, we ask Jesus right now that, that you would just crush those chains. We come against the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. Lord, today we pray that you would fill it with laughter, God. Laughter, Lord. Lord, that they would sit in their seats and begin to laugh for the good things that you have given them and the good things that you have promised, oh, Father. Ha, kanada my. Oh my, my. <laughs> Patty, you need to tell your niece everything's going to be okay. That that thing is not too big. That that thing is not too big for God. You tell her there's going to be freedom, declaration and freedom in that situation in the name of Jesus. Father, we just speak over that right Amen, now, Lord. Lord. You just brought that to my spirit, God. So, Father, we thank you for the provision, Lord. And, Father, we you thank, thank you for the things Lord. that you are going to do in her you life, oh, God. God. Father, Lord, we thank you. And we praise you, oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Ha, come on, 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 my Jesus. If there's anyone here that needs prayer today, I'm asking you just come forward right now. Whatever it is, you can come forward and have people pray with you. We're going to lift up Pastor Joe's family. His youngest brother was in an accident and got killed. So we're just going to come before the Lord and pray for peace. Father God, we come before you today, oh Lord. Jesus, Father Lord, we, we lay this before the throne, oh God. Lord, we pray for that family, Lord, that you would bring them peace. And that you would bring them comfort, oh Father. 
we don't know why people are taken. But God, you know, Lord. Lord, I ask that you would be with that family today, Lord. And Lord, that you would give them happiness and peace and joy, God. And Lord, that you would be their strength, Father, today. Lord, that you would be their strength, God. I need some of my ladies up here, prayer warriors. Father, I come before you, and God, I lift this family up unto you. Lord, sometimes the burden seems so heavy that, God, we can't carry it. But, oh, God, we know a God who can. We know the man who died on that cross, and, Lord, Satan thought he had won. But he was defeated. You rose from that grave, Jesus. You conquered sin, death, and the hell. And you took those keys back, God. It is you, Jesus, that has control over every situation. It is you that we can depend upon. It is you that we can rely upon. And God, I lift up Crawford before you right now. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the healing will ensue still into his body that every cancer cell will be removed every cell that is abnormal God you will replace with a normal cell and his body oh God he will be raised up he will give you the praise you took upon your back for our healing. You, oh God, endured it so that we could be healed. And God, I pray, Lord, oh God, over Faye and Troy, and and that you will give them the peace. Help them, oh God, to give it all unto you. Oh Lord God, we thank you for all that you're doing there. We thank you, Lord, for your movement, for you, oh God, being our best friend for you being our great physician, for you being our provider, for you being, oh God, there in every situation. You are our helper, you are our shield, you are our buckler. It is you, oh God, that we can run to. And God, we run unto you and we give you all the praise and all the glory. I pray, God, for wisdom for these doctors, God, that he will be going to. And God, I pray, oh God, if there is one doctor that is not saved, I pray that his life will change that doctor, that that doctor's name will be written into the Lamb's Book of Life. God, I give you praise and glory. Thank you, God, for all that you are doing in Jesus' name. Oh, the Lord's saying unforgiveness. <laughs> unforgiveness. You see, when you don't, when you don't forgive... The Lord always shows me a heart that begins to have vines wrapped around the heart. And the vines pull stronger and stronger and stronger. And the heart that is red and and pulsating and full of blood, fresh blood, begins to die. And he shows me where the heart begins to come gray. That's what unforgiveness does. Father Lord 
Man, you keep saying that real strong of unforgiveness. God, Lord, I pray, Jesus, for your people. Lord, I pray for anybody that's watching that has the spirit of unforgiveness, God. Lord, I ask that you would begin to cut the vines around the heart that is, that is becoming gray and dead. Lord, I ask God that, Jesus, that you would just cut that right now, Lord. And Lord, that you would begin to pump fresh new blood through that, God. <laughs> Lord, we pray for that child that can't forgive their parents because they gave them up. Oh, God. <laughs> Lord, we pray for that person where death has been spoken into their ears so much that, that unforgiveness has built up. Oh, God, I pray, Lord, that you would tear the strongholds down today, oh, Lord. Tear the walls of strongholds down of unforgiveness, oh God. Lord, there's some that walk around and say, I have forgiven, but you said they have not forgiven because they keep bringing it up. Keeps coming around, they haven't forgiven. But the Lord says today you need to lay it at his feet. God says, I forgave you. That's how much I love you, that I forgave you. Today, the Lord's saying, put it down and let me clean your heart of unforgiveness. Lord, I pray that today that the person that has not forgiven something in their life. Maybe it's the person that's been abused by maybe a parent or a loved one, God. Lord, we ask today that they would lay that down, Lord, and God, that seeds of bitterness would not grow. Lord, they are your children. But God, I ask today that instead of bitterness, that you would replace it with the spirit of joy and laughter. Lord, you said that they've been hanging on this for so long. He said, it's time to pull it out and get rid of it. Pull it out and get rid of it. It's done. Give it to me, he says. If not, you won't have that spirit of joy on your walk all your life with doom and gloom and sadness and lots of hatred and all those crazy vines. Ugh. But today the Lord says, I want to strip those vines away from your heart, but you got to give it to me. And you got to forgive, 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 forgive. Father, I thank you and I pray for that person, Lord. Lord, that you would help them to forgive and, and God, that you would help them like to throw in the sea of forgetfulness how You've done our sins. You've thrown them into the sea of forgetfulness. So, Lord, I ask that you would begin to speak to hearts, Lord, and God, that you would fill it with joy again, joy that's been robbed for a while, the joy that has been robbed maybe for years. But, God, I just ask that today you would re just replace it with joy, Father. Lord, we just thank you and we give this to you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Timothy, it tells us to fear not. Because he's given us the spirit. God has gave us a spirit of not fear but of power and love and self-control. Then over in Psalms 20, it tells us, to, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Fear not to that situation that is in your life. As you surrender, trust in Jesus. Lord, 
Lord Jesus, Father God, we come to you boldly, Father God. With the situations, Father God, that are in our life, God, and many, God, have been called out today, God. But yet we still fear, God, because, God, we're not ready to take that step, God. And whatever it is, God, that we need to take in our life for freedom. God, let us reach out, God, because you love us, God. You love us unconditionally, God. And no matter what we have done in our life, God, we need not to fear, God. Because, God, you have given us, Father God, a sound mind to be able to share your word, God. The distractions, Father God, that we have in our lives, Father God Almighty God, that is hindering us, Father God. To forgive others, Father God Almighty God. You, honey, God, forgive it, God, so that, God, you can do miracles in our lives, God. Unbelievable, God. Oh, God, we come before you this day and we ask, Father God, for complete unforgiveness, God. Because as we forgive others, you will forgive us, Father God. And God, we will be one in you, Lord God. God, and that is what our heart and our spirit want is just to be one in you, Lord God. But God, for this to happen, God, we have to trust. We have to fully immerse ourselves, Father God into your living water, Father God, so that as it covers us, Father God, we can swim in you, Father God, Almighty God, and we can walk and talk, God, and God, as you want us to do with those in our lives, God. God, be with the family member, Father God, that has ought against us, Lord God. God, help us to show your agape love, because that's what it's about, God. It's about love. God, just help us to trust you, God trusted you as we walk hand in hand through this life God because without you we are nothing but in you we are everything God and God almighty God everything belongs to you and we praise you God almighty God for the supernatural uncommon miraculous miracles that you are going to do in our lives God just because we surrendered it God to you we surrendered it and said take it I can't do it. I've been doing it for so long that I am mind crazy. And all it's doing is keeping me a wreck and keeping me down. Because God, in you, God, there is victory. And victory in you, Lord Jesus, God. Because God, you, God, have raised us up to be a mighty warrior. A warrior that walks in confidence. Because we know that we know that we know. You live inside of us, God. And we praise you, Father God, as you, God, use our testimony, God. But only this can happen, Lord God, when we give you our life and surrender it and change our mouth from negative to positive. And we praise you, Father God, because, God, you love us. We praise you, Father God, for all the blessings, God, that you have in store for us, God. And we claim, Father God, Almighty God, that you, Father God, are our Father our Abba Father God and that through you, in you, and for you God, we will walk after your righteousness Father God we praise you God Almighty God for what you're going to do in the days, weeks, and years to come Father God, when those distractions come God, we just look up to you and say everything belongs to you because I am on a mission a mission to be a warrior fully immersed in you Lord God walking out my faith in your name, Lord Jesus, God, we praise you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Is there anybody here that has a prayer on your heart and you would like to pray? I'm leaving the mic open. 